Welcome back to Silver Creek High School. Third place match here of the uh, volleyball tournament here in Longmont, Colorado. As you can see, the Mullen Mustangs will take on the Silver Creek Raptors. Mullen 2-1 and one here in pool play. Silver Creek at 1-2. and two, And they both finished uh, second in their respective pool. And so they will play for third place here. And it will be a best of five match to determine third place here at the Spike It Like It's Hot tournament. Silver Creek lost to Cheyenne Mountain in two sets. They also lost to Sterling 2-1, but defeated Evergreen 2-zip and won a tiebreaker to move into third place. Mullen went 2-1 in their pool, beating DeEvelyn and Roosevelt 2-0, but losing to Durango in two. So they're the second place team from pool two. So we'll have a best of five set here for third place. And then Cheyenne Mountain and Durango will play a best of five set for the championship. So teams are out on the court here. We have Mullen to your left here. They will serve. They'll be in the white jerseys. And Silver Creek, which we've seen a few times here today, the host school, Raptors, they will be to your right. And on the left side. Try to get some numbers here for you as we pick it up. But serving for Mullen is number eight. That is Maddie Freewall. Herzog's hit is blocked back. There's Dower to float it across. Davis for Silver Creek across is Herzog. Far side. That goes off the block for a point. And that was Mackenzie Edwards with the point for Mullen, number 12. So Freewald back to serve again for the Mustangs. Pretty good program year in and year out in Class 4A. Liz Potter misfires for Silver Creek, so Mullen off to a quick lead here. In third place match, we'll play best of five in this one. So on the floor, we have Sarah Schaefer, no relation, playing for Mullen. Also Carly Metter, number 14. And there that one goes off. Also on the floor, Kendall McKay, number two. And Perry Regit. Apologize for that name. We probably don't have it right, but she's number nine for Mullen. She'll push it across. This is Davis, number 13, the libero for Silver Creek. And Herzog's had a rough start, senior. And she might be a little bit tired playing a lot of minutes here in her fourth match of the day. Mullen with the lead here early. Back to serve, number 12, Mackenzie Edwards, an outside hitter and middle blocker for the Mustangs. Davis pops it up. That is Dower across. And she finds a hole. Back to serve will be Julie Dower, number 12. Margaret Davis is 13. Liz Potter, number 6. Number 4 is Kyra Sarwinski. Number 2 is Jess Herzog. And into the lineup, number 19, Kayla Sulik. She replaces Olivia DeVere, number 3. This is Dower. She'll get the serve. That one sails wide off the right arm of Mackenzie Edwards. She was trying for the kill. Back in there. Ties it up. Mullen came into the tournament with a record of 1-1. One and one. We had him ranked number 10 in Class 4A in our Colorado Preps poll. They lost to Chatfield earlier this week. That attempt sails wide by Herzog, so Mullen will get the serve back. Mullen again coming into the tournament, lost to Chatfield, the top 10 team in 5A, 3-0, then beat Golden 3-2. After this tournament, they'll be off a full week. A week from today, they'll be at Valor Christian in what should be a pretty good match. Mullen did not make the state tournament last year, but did so in 2010, where they lost all three pool matches. And back in 09, they reached the semifinals 
where they fell to Lewis Palmer three games to one. Julie Dower cannot dig that one out for Silver Creek. Mustangs will keep the serve. Doing the honors, Kendall McKay, the libero. She flies it into the net. In games or rally scoring to 25, as you probably know. And we'll play best of five here to determine third place at the Some Like It's Hot, Some Like It Hot, Spike It Like It's Hot tournament here at Silver Creek High School. Mullen just frees it over and they do so deep. Pretty good move there by Sarah Schaefer. She just kind of two-handed pushed it, but she pushed it deep. And sometimes the tendency is for another team to creep up toward the net. And she took advantage as she put it deep in the zone. On the serve there is Carly Metter, number 14, an outside hitter. There's Potter. Boy, she loves that spot. We've said it all day. Number six, when she's in the left hitter position, she is very effective. She keeps Silver Creek within one. On the floor now for the Raptors, Tegan Nechtel, a sophomore. She'll wear number eight. You can also see her big knee brace there on the left leg. Back to serve is Stephanie Holsbus. Edwards pops it up. Nice dig there by Holsbus. Mullen just brings it back across. They serve to Potter, that little tip move, and it works effectively. She does also a nice job of mixing up her attack. Two, three times in a row she'll fire it and then she'll tip it. Next time she may tip it and then fire it two or three times again. She does a good job here, very good player, just a sophomore. Pulse bus back to serve again. There's a nice block. That is Tegan Necto, the sophomore. She blocks the attempt of number 10, Danny Bracken, off the bench for Mullen. And Silver Creek has their first lead. Pulse bus again with the serve to Edwards. Far side. Dug out again by Pulse bus. Good job there from the back row. Edwards with the hammer. Mackenzie Edwards ties this one up. Looks like an evenly matched uh, volleyball match here. We're tied at seven early on. On the serve is Sarah Schaefer. She'll this is Edwards. Good pass to the front over to Potter. Off the block, it's dug out. It can't be controlled. Carly Metter kept it up in the air, but her teammate could not find it. And the Raptors retake the lead. Back to serve, Kayla Sulik, the junior, number 19. Edwards brings it across. Davis returns. Potter fires. And good. And she's at her most effective right there in that left hitter spot. Hulik Sulik, I keep putting an H in front of her name. It's Kayla Sulik, a junior. Popped up there by Schaefer. That hit sails wide. That was Danny Bracken again. And Silver Creek has scored four straight. Sulik again. Edwards on the receiving end. Now they'll feed it back to her, and she fires it long. You wonder how the change in gym will affect the team. Mullen has played their entire tournament in the auxiliary gym across the way, and they move over here for the third-place match against Silver Creek. Silver Creek scored five in a row, forcing a timeout here. And the Raptors lead it. Silver Creek today 1-2 and two in pool play. They started off the day beating Evergreen in two games. Again, the pool matches were best two of three. Then they came back and lost a tough one to Sterling 2-1. Two Silver Creek won game 1, 25-23. Lost game 2, 23-25. And then fell in game 3 as Sterling took the win 15-10. Silver Creek just finished up a tough match with Cheyenne Mountain, the four-time defending state champs, where they lost in two quick games. 
Here we're back at it. Silver Creek back on the serve again. It's Kayla Sulik to do the honors. That one finds a hole in the corner. Tough decision there by Mackenzie Edwards. Didn't know if that was going to go long or not. When she decided it was a little bit too late as it found some open space. Oh, did they call that out? Oop. I thought the uh, line judge said that was in. But apparently it was out. That one goes off the antenna. So Mullen gets their second straight point. We'll collect our board there. It's 11 to 9. On the serve, Danny Bracken, number 10. Did not start the match, but in quickly, and now she'll serve it up into the net. Back on the floor for Silver Creek, Jess Herzog. Number two for Mullen, also in Kendall McKay, so a pair of deuces into the lineups. Edwards again pops up. They feed it back to her on the set. There she found some space. It was popped up nicely by Davis, but a little bit too far and out of the range of her teammates. Now serving Maddie Freewall. Potter receives a serve. Here's Herzog, cross court. That finds a Raptor. Oh, good job by Edwards to get the ricochet off the ceiling and keep it alive. And a good job there again by Mullen. They send it deep, and Silver Creek has to retreat. Raptors have controlled the point, but so far not on the board yet. Oh, good job there. Good running set, but as she pushed it across was Maddie Freewald. Again, that would have been the second hit, and often a team is waiting for the set there, and she just pushed it across as the blockers were not ready. She'll go back to serve. This is Maddie Freewald. Herzog sends it up. Devere with the set over to Dower. It's collected by Mullen. They'll send it awry. Mackenzie Edwards. Silver Creek with the two-point lead. They'll get the serve back here in game one. Margaret Davis, junior libero for Silver Creeks, had a good tournament. Again, they feed Edwards. This time she finds space and grabs the kill. Tell she's their big hitter, Mackenzie Edwards, an outside hitter in the middle blocker is what she is listed at. And she likes that left side. Now she'll trot back and serve. She's been the main hitter. They're feeding off the sets. Potter collects that serve. Little off-speed pitch by Herzog. Collected the net, was not hit by the blocker, so officially that's four hits by the Raptors, and suddenly we have a tie match. Edwards again. Good serve. Dower pops that one up. We'll have to free ball it over. That was Devere. Off the block and out. So a successful kill there by Sarah Schaefer and the Mustangs of Mullen have gained the lead. Edwards again. Had a nice little run. Ended with the serve into the net. And we're back to a tie. Sulik returns for Silver Creek off the bench to the front. Again, they feed Edwards. Pops it short. Dug out nicely by Davis. And the hit goes into the net by Kayla Sulik. Again, looks like this one's going to be an even match. We'll play best of five here. We're ahead of schedule. This match was not scheduled to begin until 3.30, so we're a little bit ahead of schedule here. Service attempt by Kendall McKay again goes into the net. And for the several times here, we're tied again. To serve, Serena, Serana Hubert. Sends that one along just barely. 
Again, some indecision by the Mullen defense, but they chose right this time. Carly Metter, number 14, hops up on the serve and sends it long. So both teams struggling a bit here with their service game. And we'll see if we can change that trend with Stephanie Hulsebus of Silver Creek, one of four seniors on the varsity roster, evenly distributed. Four seniors, three juniors, four sophomores for the Raptors. Hulsebus just gets it across. Good dig out there by Edwards. Sent across on the second hit by Mullen. They'll feed Potter. It's sent back. Good job on the block there by Maddie Freewald and Danny Bracken, number eight and number ten respectively as they sent the hit back. Now we'll see Sarah Schaefer, offensive specialist. She's back to serve here, up by one. Potter again has it blocked, stays on the Mullen side, hit the banners, they'll play it. Edwards sends it cross court, Potter collects it. Over to Dower, Potter will Kind of free-handed over, if you will. And there's Bracken kind of mistimed her jump against that set. So timing off between setter and hitter. Raptors tied again. We've been tied at 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Here's Edwards again. Off the block collected by Davis. They'll feed Potter in her favorite spot. Got it through the block, but it goes out of bounds. Oh, point for Silver Creek. It went off the net and the block and then fell out of bounds, so Silver Creek gets that point. Here's Kayla Sulik. Edwards. Back to her. Tough angle. Good collection there by Hubert, and tough pass. That just looked like a little fatigue on that effort by Davis. Again, she has been all over the floor today for Silver Creek. Been on the hardwood several times. Back to serve now, Danny Bracken. Hubert, here's Davis. Again, they feed Edwards. And she finds the side over there for the kill and she is looks like option A, B and C right now for the Mustangs. All the sets headed her way especially when she's on the left side of that court. Bracken back to serve with her team leading by one. In tight match all the way will play to 25 got to win by two. This is Devere with the set. Dower with the hit. Edwards again little tip try found by Davis. Now they'll three ball it over and out of bounds. It's a little mix up defensively by Silver Creek. Gives Mullen a little breathing room, a two point margin. Again, we haven't had that for quite a while as teams have traded points back and forth. Bracken again. Launches away. Ooh. Davis, can she track it down? She does. Boy, that's a tough angle. Great hustle by Silver Creek as Liz Potter went diving over there by the fan. But it's a point for Mullen and we have a timeout. So the Mustangs again after this match being tied at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 have put together three unanswered points and they lead it 21 to 18 here as they try to take game one. third place match at the Silver Creek Tournament. Both these teams finishing in second place of their respective pools. And again, our championship match should be a good one between Cheyenne Mountain and Durango. Cheyenne Mountain 3-0 in pool play. Durango 3-0 in pool play. And Durango had to beat Mullen and Roosevelt to get there. Cheyenne Mountain handled Sterling, Silver Creek, and Evergreen all 2-0. So Bracken is back to serve here for Mullen. In four points away from taking game one, it's been a tight one throughout. 
And again, as often as you see that, a coach will take a timeout to end a run by the other team and kind of throw off the rhythm of a server. And it affected Bracken. And Silver Creek regains possession here. Herzog trots back on number two. She'll play the left hitter spot here. On the serve is Potter. And that one flies out. As that was Perry Aridget. Again, we're probably butchering that name, and we apologize for that, but it's a point for Silver Creek. And another point for the Raptors off the hit into the net, and we're tied suddenly at 21. Potter to serve, number six. Strung together two points with her at the serve. She'll send one down the middle. And again, the scoop over the top by your setter. It's Maddie Freewald. Again, you're expecting a set there to a potential spike. And the blockers aren't ready for that quick one over the top. So Mullen with possession and a one-point lead. Every point very critical. Freewald again to serve. Davis collects. This is DeVere over to Herzog. Sent back. Davis finds it. And they're not going to be able to track that down. Mullen two points away here. As again, Freewald will get the serve. Dower back to Potter from the back row. Freewald with the set. Popped up in the air. This is DeVere. Over to Dower. Collected nicely by McKay. But Silver Creek wins the battle at the net. To crawl back within one, you have to win a game by two. 23-22 your score. Davis looks at her head coach to see where they want to serve. And it goes into the net. And I'm sure that was not what they wanted. So Mullen will have the serve and game point, leading 24-22. Mackenzie Edwards, she's played every position in this first round, first game. She'll send it up a serve. Davis can't handle it. So Mullen will take game one, a tight game one, 25-22, as they get the victory here to start off the third place match as they win game one 25 to 22. And we're a couple of minutes away from getting started, so we will take a little break here. We'll be back with you for game two in just a moment here on Colorado Preps TV.
As you can see on your screen, Mullen took game one, 25 to 22, third place match here. Silver Creek Tournament will go to game two. And again, we break down our scoreboard for you there, the Bank of Colorado scoreboard, as Silver Creek takes the serve here with Margaret Davis. Teams kind of volley back and forth there on the net. Good hustle, but Mullen will get the point. But on the board, you see, will post Mullen with one point. The first number in their column signifies points in this game. The second number one represents the win in game one. Silver Creek again, zero points so far, and they've yet to win a match, or game rather, in this match. Wow, there's a big hit. And again, that's option A, B, and C for Mullen. Mackenzie Edwards with the kill there. And again, we did not have much breathing room in that first game until the very end as the teams traded points back and forth before Mullen stretched it out for that three-point win. That is Freewald with the serve. Maddie, this is over to Herzog. Good one-handed save by Freewald to keep it alive. And there's a, a lift by Olivia DeVere. So Mullen has some breathing room here early. And again, Maddie Freewald to serve it up. Number eight. Lifted up by Potter. This is Davis. Herzog, little tip try, corralled. Edwards sends it back off the block. It's good. Kyra Sarwinski got a hand on that hit, but deflected it just enough to get away from her teammates, and suddenly it's 4-0 out of the gate in favor of the Mustangs. Here you worry about fatigue on both sides. This is their fourth match of the day, and this one goes five. Dower fires it. Junior misses long, and Mullen out of the gate here, 5-0. Again, best of five. We played best of three all day until we get to the quote-unquote championship round. Freewald, nice little low serve there. Devere with the set, and there's a nice little tip by Sarwinski to get the first point of the game for Silver Creek, but they still trail by four. Kayla Sulek checks into the game, number 19. On the serve is Julie Dower. Guess who? Edwards. Mackenzie Edwards, again, she likes that left side like so many very good hitters. Just like that angle better. And Davis could not control. Edwards steps back and fires away. Far side. That goes long as Sulek misfires just by a couple of inches. So after a tight first game, Mullen opens it up here in game number two. And Edwards with the jump serve. Sulek with the tip, Davis across, found a hole. He was just going to try to get that ball back over. She found open space in the middle of the court. Back on the floor, Serena Hubert, sophomore again, number seven. She'll trot back, force the serve. Popped up there by McKay, Potter. Tried to kill off that pass. It was saved nicely by Mullen, but this one goes out of bounds. Good save by Metter initially for the Mustangs. They could not control it enough to get a good attempt at a hit. And Silver Creek scores the point. Hubert back for another try. Wally pops it short that time. Across the way, that is Schaefer. Potter in her famous spot on that left side. Finds the floor. Silver Creek inches a bit closer. Now into the lineup, Jessica Seinkowitz, number 13. A lot of tough names here for the Mustangs. We apologize if we're getting them wrong. There's a lift. That's called on Sarah Schaefer. 
So after being down 5-0 early, Silver Creek has nudged their way back to within two here in game two. Hubert again with the serve. Again, clips the net. Sankowitz finds it. Potter redirected her route and just kind of popped it over. Edwards lost the handle. I think she had a track and then a teammate kind of flashed in front of her and might have broke her concentration a bit and we're back to a tight match here. And first one went back and forth. This one appears headed in the same direction. Edwards from the back. Dug out nicely. This is Potter. She finds some space. We're tied at seven. Good comeback here by Silver Creek. Kind of a little game of runs. 5-0 to start for the Mustangs. They led at 7-2. And now Silver Creek with five of their own. And that comes to an end with that errant serve. In 25-22 was the first game. Danny Bracken back in. Replacing Sankowitz. And this is the libero. Kendall McKay on that serve. Potter over on that left side tipped. They keep it alive. Silver Creek trying to regroup. Now they come this side. Edwards with a nice dig. Right back at the one who hit it at her. And that was Kayla Sulik who finished it off on her second try. Sulik hit it twice. Edwards sent the first one back. But Sulik powered it through the block on the second go around to tie it up. Back to serve, Stephanie Holsbus. Fifty-fifty ball. Let's see what they call. Fraction there against Mullins. Maddie Freewald. So Silver Creek gets the point there, and they'll serve with the lead. So nice little comeback. Holsbus again with the serve. Again another fifty-fifty ball. Freewald. That time the violation at the net is on Evergreen. No, oh, it's on Mullen. There's confusion there. There's confusion there, but Silver Creek gets the point. I don't think neither coach is understanding what the call was there. Hulse Bus tries it again. Edwards pops it up. Here is Freewald. Bracken with the little tip. Far side, Potter. Nice block by Bracken. Freewald in the middle here to collect. Behind her, that's Edwards into the net. Mustangs get a, did a good job of regrouping after the block and had the one they wanted hitting the ball, but she drilled it into the net, she being Edwards. Holst bus again. Over to Schaefer, Freewald to Bracken off the defender and out. Serena Hubert could not control. Mullen on the board to end that run by Silver Creek. It's 11-9. Onto the floor now for Mullen number six. And we don't have a number six. Our side Potter, little tip, found some room. Again, she does a nice job over there in mixing and matching. Kind of feels where the defenders are and if there's support for the block. If there's not, she just simply tips over the top. Sulik with the serve. And again, a good job by your setter, Maddie Freewald. Speaking of mixing it up, she did just that. Again, instead of setting for the hitter, she simply looked like she was going to do that and pushed it over the top. Sometimes you'll get called on a carry or lift for that, but there she was effective. Schaefer with the serve. Dower. And Bracken apparently for Mullen into the net. Took my eye off the net as we followed the ball, but I think that was the call there. Creek point 13-10. 
Into the lineup, Jess Herzog for Silver Creek. Serving Liz Potter. Freewald on the set, over to Edwards, and down. That's a good combination for the Mustangs. Freewald, a very good setter. Edwards obviously has shown tonight she can put the ball away and end the point. Jessica Sankowitz, number 13, back on the floor. She replaces Kendall McKay. And they're checking the rotation. They're apparently okay. Back to serve, Danny Bracken. Jump serve collected by Davis. Here's Devere over to Herzog. Block up in the air. And Freewald frees it over. Dower, Herzog, little tip collected there by number six. Again, we don't have a name for her. We apologize there, but her pass went unreceived, and Silver Creek gets the point. Kyra Sarwinski back up front for Silver Creek. She wears the number four jersey. Margaret Davis, junior libero, back to serve. Edwards pops it up. Freewald over to set, back to Edwards. And Davis dives, but sends it into the bleachers. Mullen stays within two. Again, they led this match, or led this game, rather, 5-0 after taking game one. 25-22. Freewald back to serve. Sends it wide. Neither team really gaining a rhythm in this one either. Again, fatigue is probably a factor. You're playing your fourth match of the day, and for these girls, this is their first tournament action of the year. Everything has been single matches thus far. Julie Dower with a service error there. Gives the ball back to the Mustangs. Trailing by two. Edwards, a lot of damage. She's back to serve. Potter chases it down. Sarwinski has to free ball it over. Freewald again comes far side to Schaefer. Collected by Davis. Sulek pushes it across. Sankowitz gets it there. Now Silver Creek collects and it goes off of Carly Metter. So a kill there for Kayla Sulik gives Silver Creek a three-point lead. We will get a timeout in this one. And again, 16-13, Silver Creek trailing one game to none. Third place match of this Spike It Like It's Hot tournament from Silver Creek High School in Longmont. Championship matchup coming between Cheyenne Mountain and Durango. Both those teams 3-0 in pool play earlier today. Cheyenne Mountain beating Sterling, Silver Creek, and Evergreen. And Durango taking out these Mullen Mustangs along with Roosevelt and the D'Evelyn Jaguars. Durango, we believe, seeing their first action of the season. That's what their schedule said. So they're 3-0 out of the gate. We have them ranked number 7 in Class 4A on coloradopreps.com. And they've made the 4A state tournament each of the last two years have the Demons going 1-2 and two in pool play each of the previous two years. They also qualified back in 06. After the timeout here, Silver Creek will have the serve. They lead it 16 to 13. And Serena Hubert will be back to serve it for the Raptors. Schaefer pops it up. Freewald on the set. Far side and down is Carly Metter. So timeout proves effective for the Mustangs as they end the little run by Silver Creek and have a chance to get back to within one. Back on the court, Danny Bracken, number 10 for Mullen. Serving is Kendall McKay, the libero. In the middle, Sulik off the net. Freewald collects it for the Mustangs. Edwards comes across. Far side, Potter. She likes that spot and off the block and down. Again, she just comes to the volleyball very aggressively in that spot and has had good success there today. Tegan Nectel, the young sophomore, back up front for Silver Creek, trotting back to serve Stephanie Holsbus. 
Edwards pops it up over to Freewald again. She does that quick little push. And again, it catches Silver Creek a little bit by surprise. They got the initial hit, but they weren't set up to go for the set and the hit. Trotting back to serve, and again, we apologize. We do not have a number six. We have a Brooklyn Seaman, Sally Korch, and Rachel Weeks listed on the roster without a number. So we apologize we don't have that. That hit by Sulik is good for Silver Creek, and it's 18-15 Raptors. Sulik just finished it off at last point, so she'll head back for her serve. Raptors down one. Again, best of five. They're trying to tie it up a game apiece. Freewald kind of spikes it herself. She's a good setter. She's big enough to get up on the net like you just saw there and kind of put it down with some force. She has a good understanding of the game, and every once in a while, instead of setting, just kind of pops it over. And then, of course, she has done a good job of setting Mackenzie Edwards. Dower finds the reflection to get it across. Freewald over to Edwards. Potter with the nice dig there. Cross is Davis. McKay up to Freewald, and Bracken misfires. And timing just a tad off there. It looks like those two are not communicating as well as Freewald and Edwards. Potter now trying to give Silver Creek a little bit more breathing room again. When you say first one to 20 usually wins, that's a key point here for Silver Creek leading 19-16. Edwards is blocked at the net. Good job there by Nechtel. But Herzog can't track down the loose volleyball. 19-17. Back to serve is Bracken. To Davis. To Veer. Nectal. Here's Freewald. Edwards tips it. Davis collects. De Veer sets. And a miscommunication there, but they get it across. Freewald tries to tap it. Far side. They're looking for Herzog. Popped up there by Bracken. Back to Freewald. Here's Edwards. And nice dig there. One-handed by Potter, but it flies out of bounds. And Mullen collects the point. They draw within in one. And they took game one, 25-22. Bracken, good serve there. Herzog pops it up over to DeVere. Back to Herzog, tries to tip. It's off the block and out of bounds. Point awarded to Silver Creek. Davis to serve. And she's wearing the different colored jersey. Signifying her role as libero. Freewald tips it across. Here is Edwards back to Freewald. She bumps it across again. Dower back to Potter. Flat footed hit. Freewald busy on this side. This time she sets up Edwards who finds room. In that combination, most effective for the Mustangs. Other players have had trouble finding the range, but Edwards has been able to kill off several points. Number 12. Let's go back for Freewald. Maddie will serve it up. Davis receives. Far side, Herzog. Popped up by McKay. Freewald, good job. Oh, she went into the net, apparently. Thought she did a good job of digging that out, but apparently not. Call right there by the official, and it's 21-19 Raptors. Sulik back on the floor for Silver Creek, back to serve Julie Dower. That flies out. Good communication there by the Mustangs in the back. McKay and Schaefer both went for it and both talked each other out of it, and they earned the point. Edwards to serve, so she'll play back line here. She can still kill from that back wall. Potter pops it up. Far side, Sulek has to tip because she mistimed it. Again, the set was not perfect, and we are tied at 21. This is where Mullen made a little run in game one. It was tied all the way through, and then Mullen pulled away for a three-point win. Suddenly, we're back to a 21-all game. Edwards to Potter. Far side, they'll try Sulik again. The set a little bit off the stretch, and she cannot get it across. 
So Mullen with the lead suddenly at 22-21. Let's see if they can pull out game two like they did game one. Breaking open a tight game late for a victory. Edwards again. It's been effective back there. A little softer this time. Near side is Herzog. Freewald gets it up in the air. Metter. Good save there by Potter. Far side Herzog again. This one's blocked down. Oh, popped out over nicely. And a great job there. I believe that was Kyrus Arwinski that got a hand on it and just pushed it up and over the net for the point. Tough angle to get that ball up and over, and she was very successful. Now serving is Serena Hubert. 22 all. Schaefer, Freewald. Behind her is Metter, and she cannot finish. Silver Creek back with the lead. Off the net, Sankowitz collects it. That's Freewald back to Edwards. She hammers it home. Edwards collects the return. Freewald over. Schaefer, little tip. Good job by Dower for support. In the middle is Herzog, and they're going to call her on the net. Yeah, don't know if that was officially on the net or she uh, carried it, but either way, it's a point for Mullen. We're tied at 23, and again, we have to win by two. First one to 25, but again, you have to win by two. Kendall McKay back to serve for Mullen. Davis up, Dower over, Potter down, off the block. Good recovery here. Evergreen will push it across. Mullen regroups as well. Here's Freewald. She goes to the main gun, blocked there nicely at the, uh, at the net. And Mullen touches the net. Little disagreement for the Mustangs, but a good job working the middle of the floor there. Kyra Sarwinski, she blocked the backline spike attempt from Edwards and then won the 50-50 ball at the net. So game point here for Silver Creek. And Stephanie Holsbus will serve it. Trying to tie this best of five up at a game apiece. Holsbus delivers deep. Edwards controls over to Freewald. Here is Schaefer. Ooh, thought it was going to be long, but it was played by Silver Creek. Potter will try to finish, and she does. Silver Creek evens it up. As they take game two, 25 to 23. We have had some nice, nice matchups here. Both of them 25-22s, each team winning one, so we'll go to game three. And again, we play a best of, 20, uh, best of five match here to determine third place. Again, we'll take a short little timeout. We'll be back with game three of this possible five-setter here on Colorado Preps TV.
We are back for game number three. As you can see, each team winning one of the first two games by the count of 25-22. Everything we have done throughout the day has been best of three. This is best of five. Mullen will be on your left this time in the light color, the white color jerseys. They will be serving. Silver Creek in the dark to your right. Maddie Freewald serves it up to Liz Potter. And it goes off her out of bounds. And again on your scoreboard to explain, you have two ones there for Mullen. The first one signifies the point they scored in this game. The second one is the number of games won in the match. Same on Silver Creek. That's Herzog, sends it long. So Mullen started off game two with a 5-0 run and eventually lost 25-22 here. They're off to a 2-0 start. Freewald again. Dower way off target on that one. And for the second straight game, Mullen is off to a good start here. Back to serve again, Freewald. Just come into your picture there. Potter collects it on her knees. Little sent one over by DeVere. Far side here is Edwards, blocked nicely. Can they send it across? They do. Sarah Schaefer with the third hit. DeVere comes near side. Herzog blocked back to Davis. DeVere will set it this time behind her to Dower. It goes long again. Good rally there, good job by Mullen not to panic and keep the ball in play to get it across. They lead it for zip. Freewald again with the serve. Potter receives, here's DeVere in the middle. They go to Herzog near side, Freewald knocks it up and Metter will send it across. DeVere with the set, that is Tegan Neckdell and she finds a little room, kind of a soft little hit on the volleyball but it works for a point, the first of the game for Silver Creek. Now Davis will trot back and serve. Again, the libero for the Silver Creek Raptors. Team made their first ever state tournament appearance last year. Lost to Cheyenne Mountain in three, Durango and Coronado by five. Davis from the back row and finds the corner. McKay a little bit indecisive there to know whether or not to play. Again, that's a tough she had the back line and the sideline to contend with there on her decision. And the point or the ball found the open space. Davis again back to Schaefer. That is Erigit on the hit, on the tip up. Freewald sends it deep. Here is DeVere back to Dower. They keep going to her. This time she finds it in off the block. Freewald over to Edwards. Little tip try. Won't go. 50-50 ball. And Silver Creek wins that as Mullen goes into the net. And we apologize. Number nine, Perry Irigit. Last name is spelled E-R-E-I-G-I-T. Not a common spelling on that one, so we're doing the best we can. Herzog with the offhand pops it across with the fist. Freewall sends it deep. Davis collects. Devere tries and ran out of real estate. In matches tied at one, each team taking one of the first two, 25-22. Mullen winning game one, Silver Creek game two. Sarwinski fires. Freewald sends it deep. This is DeVere. Herzog sent back. DeVere again, tries Dower backside, goes long again. Edwards will take her turn in the service area. Good serve there as Davis can't track it down and just like they did in game one, Mullen with the early lead. They let it five zip in game two before falling short here. They've almost matched that margin. They're on top seven three early.
Dower again off the block. Edwards collects, finds a ceiling rafter. Back to Edwards. Davis, here's Herzog, and down. Alexa, check that, Julie Dower. On the serve for Silver Creek, Sarah Schaefer receives. On the near side, that's Carly Metter. Nice dig by Davis. Edwards up, Freewald back up, over to Metter again. Cross court is good. Back on the floor for Mullen, number 10, Danny Bracken. She'll play middle. Back to serve Kendall McKay, number two, the libero. Sulik pops it up to Dower. Back Potter is brought down by Bracken. She was joined there by Carly Metter, but it was Bracken who got her hands on that hit. And Liz Potter. For the point for the Mustangs, they lead it by five. McKay will serve it up again. Into the net. I've seen that quite often today, and again, that's very frustrating for a coach as you don't give your team even a chance to secure that point at all. This is Serena Hubert. Sends it wide. Carly Metter. Number 14 listed as an outside hitter. And she'll trot up with the serve. Dower in the middle. Sulek. Far side Schaefer for Mullen blocked down by Sulek. So she got the hit and then quickly got back up in the air for the block. Let me correct that. We gave that point to the wrong team. It's 10-6 here now in favor of Mullen. Silver Creek with the serve, Stephanie Holsbus to do the honors. McKay, Freewald, Bracken into the bleachers off Serena Hubert. That's the closest we've been to finding one up here in the crow's nest as it came up close, but didn't get here. Sarah Schaefer on the serve. Holsbus. On the receiving end, now she'll fire from the back line to Schaefer. Ooh, nice job by Freewald. Kind of a 50-50 ball, we call them, at the net. She got her hand on it first and tipped it across for the point. Mustangs have doubled up the Raptors here. Schaefer again to serve. Potter hammers off the block. Schaefer, Freewald again tries to tip. Here's Sulek. Potter, tough angle. Tough to keep that one inside the antenna. She was also off balance going into the air. So tough to get any height. And Mullen stretching it out here a bit. This has been the biggest lead we've had in any game. And that changes to make this the biggest lead as Schaefer gets an ace. A little soft floater over the net in between the front and back lines for the Silver Creek defense. Schaefer again. Sends it deeper this time. Hubert collects. Potter sent back. Saved up by Silver Creek. Sulek off the block. Edwards up in the air. McKay sends it across. Back to Davis. Dower over to Nechtel. Far side. Here's Edwards. Down. Man, when her timing is on and the set is there, she is almost unbeatable. The blocks have not been effective against her, and when she gets a full fist on it, if you will, it often gets by a person trying to dig it out as well. 15-6, Mullen. Schaefer again pops it in the air. There's Dower over to Potter again, a tough angle. She's over in her favorite spot. She's not getting the ball where she wants, and her team is down 16-6. Schaefer collected there by Hubert. Far side Davis. 50-50 ball won by Mullen. It's Maddie Freewall. 
Both of them hit at the same time. Freewald had more behind hers, and it went back over to Silver Creek, who could not dig it out. Oh, good job by Davis to send that Aaron ball deep. She collects it again. She saves a chance here for Silver Creek, but it goes awry as Hubert misfires, and it's all Mullen here in game three. We had two tight ones. Mullen won game one, 25-22. Silver Creek by the same margin in game two. But here the Mustangs have really opened it up. It's 18-6. Dower sends it over to Potter. Popped up in the air by Carly Metter. Freewald over to Edwards. And, ooh, wow. That was close, just a little bit wide. Line judge right there on top of it. Hit outside the line. Don't have 15 on our roster, so we could not tell you who's serving there. Edwards with the hit for Mullen. Dower tracks it down. Here's Potter again, and she puts it into the net. So Mullen in complete control here in a what could be a decisive game three. Again, we're playing best of five here in the championship round. This is the third place match. We will have the championship match between Cheyenne Mountain and Durango coming up. After this one, Olivia DeVere, number three, checks in for Silver Creek. And again, some confusion on the Mullen rotation there. On to serve is Danny Bracken. Nice serve there. Received well. Here's Potter on the other side. Popped up in the air by Metter. Back to Freewald. Here's Edwards. And again, when she sets, collects, and fires, tough to do anything with her spike. 20-7 to seven, Mullen. All Mustangs here in game three. Quite surprising after the two tight games we had in games one and two. Bracken trying to finish it off here for the Mustangs. Nice serve there. DeVere over to Potter. Little tip try is good. Yep, they do give it to uh, Silver Creek. Mullen, I believe, was in the net as well. Kendall McKay, number two, the libero back on for the Mustangs. She replaces Bracken to serve Liz Potter. Popped up in the air by Schaefer. That's Metter. Freewald sends it all the way across to Edwards. Nice save by Davis. Herzog and who was in the net? Mullen, I believe. Silver Creek gets the point. It's now 20 to 9. Potter again to serve. Wide of the target. Mullen four points away here from taking game three. Maddie Freewald back for the serve. She had a good run to start the game, made it four zip. If she can match that, she can get her team a victory here in game three. Davis down low to pop it up. Herzog sends it wide. Tried to cross court to the far side. Just a little bit too much on it. And Mullen scores the point. Freewald again to serve. Dower tips. Nice dive by McKay. Freewald brings it across. Here's Davis to DeVere in the middle. Tegan Nechtel well too long. Mullen two points away. What a surprise we have here in game three. Again, games one and two extremely tight. And here it has been all Mullen. I think this was seven to four at one point. That stays in and it's 24-9 Mullen. So it was seven to five, it was seven to four at one point. So it's been a 17-3 run for the Mustangs. Out of nowhere. Freewald serving for game point here. Herzog pops it up, gets the return set. Ball popped up in the air. Freewald got a hand on it. Couldn't get it in the air high enough, so Silver Creek stays alive, but they're down 14. 
and cannot allow another point. Kyrus Arwinski back in. Davis to serve. McKay sends it across. Here's Freewald. She'll go to her top hitter, and Edwards responds with a soft little kill to win game three at 25 to 10. So Mullen takes game three again, 25 to 10. They're in good shape here to uh, go into game four with the advantage on this best of five. And again, we'll take a little time out here in between the contests. And we will be back with game four in just a moment. Again, Mullen taking game three, 25 to nine here on Colorado Preps TV. We are back here for game four of this third place match between Mullen and Silver Creek. As you can see, the Mustangs commanding win in game three, 25 to nine over Silver Creek. So they lead it two games to one going into game four. And again, this is a best of five set. So Mullen can clinch third place in this spike it like it's hot tournament. If they can grab the win here, if Silver Creek responds from that tough loss, we will go to a game five. We are underway here in game four. Silver Creek with the serve. And Maddie Freewald at the net wins that point for, Mustang, for the Mustangs. And again, they're off to a good start. Let's also drop in number six for Mullen. We had some help from a fan here. Uh, number six has played a, uh, some minutes here for Mullen. We did not have a name. That was Brooklyn Saman. So now we have a number there, and if she gets back in, we'll know who she is. Near side, here's Edwards. Finds a hole. It's kind of stunning to me at the start of every game in this match. Mullen has jumped out to a, a big lead. It's five to nothing back in game two. They actually lost that game 25-22. Last game they started 7-2. Silver Creek cut it to 7-4, and then Mullen went on a big run. Freewald, or Freewald rather, 
Nice hit there by Dower. Here's Freewald back in the middle. A little miscommunication there on Ever or, uh, Silver Creek, but they keep it alive. That one rolls along the net, and Carly Metter for the Mustangs scores the point. She was kind of off balance on her hit attempt. Got enough on it to get it on top of the net. It ran down the net and fell harmlessly to the ground. Freewald again to serve. Had good luck with her starting off the service games for Mullen. Far side Herzog sent right back, but saved in the air nicely. Good job by the Raptors. Sarwinski to get it back across. Here's Edwards. Davis pops it up. Behind her is Dower. She'll get the, sir, or the uh, hit up. Sarwinski again pushes it across. Here's Metter. she gets get it back to Freewald, who just sends it deep. Potter collects it to Davis, and they'll free ball it over. That is number two, Jess Herzog. Good rally here, maybe the best of the match. Edwards finishes it, though, for Mullen as she powers it through the blocks. Mustangs again off to a quick start. Again, if they win this one, they take home third place. They lead this best of five set, two, ma two games to one. Freewald again to serve. Davis pops it up. Devere over the top, back to Freewald. Here's Metter. She'll come to Edwards, cross courts it. Good save there by Herzog. Freewald feeds her again. This time, she's down. Twice in the last three games, it's been 5 0 Mullen. Last, last game, it was only 4 0. So again, the start's very key to the Mustangs here as they play Silver Creek. On Silver Creek's home court, that one is in. So an ace for Freewald. 6-0 Mullen. Silver Creek looks a little tired here. Freewald again will continue to serve. She's just been extremely successful at that at the start of each game. He's the first server up in the rotation each and every time by Mullen, and it's worked out well. That pass goes awry. Off Julie Dower, 7-0 Mullen. Expect a timeout here pretty soon by the Silver Creek coaching staff. Freewall continues to fire. Davis controls. Here's Devere, near side Dower. Not much to do with it there. Saved up by McKay. Here's Freewald again. Guess who? Edwards tries the offhand. And that's called four hits because it went off the net and not off the blocker. So four hits there for Mullen. And Silver Creek finally on the board here in game four. Back to serve will be Julie Dower. First we tie a shoe. And she'll try to rally Silver Creek from the service line. Popped up in the air, Sarah Schaefer, Freewald again. Freeze it over, if you will. And they will call a carry there on Mullen. A push, a lift, a carry. I've heard it called several different things, so to your own pre Oh. Okay, that was an infraction on Silver Creek. I did not see that. Somebody must have been into the net for Silver Creek. My apologies, Mullen scores the point. And Edwards on the serve gets another one, so the Mustangs lead at 9-1. It's a late whistle on the net. I thought they called the Mullen player with a lift, but apparently Silver Creek was in the net, so Edwards back to serve. Her team on top, 9-1. Here's Potter, lined up a hit, but got just enough of it to crawl the net. And she was off on her steps a little bit. She was winding up to, to hammer it and had to kind of recollect herself and just kind of tip it over and got just enough of it. Here's Serena Hubert, the sophomore to serve. Schaefer pops it up over the top, sent right back quickly by Kyra Sarwinski. She was fed nicely there off the service return by Mullen. This one popped in the air. Edwards collects it. Here's Freewald. Over to Metter. Cross court is good. Off the arm of Sulik. Mullen continues to lead 10-3. They lead this match two games to one. And we do not have a 15 in the lineup for Silver Creek or on her roster, rather. She steps into the lineup, but again, we do not know a name. 
Our apologies for that. Kyla McKay, make that Kendall McKay on the serve. Davis with the return over to Dower. Here's Potter in her favorite spot off the net. Good dig by Schaefer. Sent back, though, by Sarwinski of Silver Creek, and the Raptors on the board with that point. Tegan Nechtel comes into the front. Again, good size there out of the sophomore. Coming back from a knee injury, you can tell. A big old brace on her left, left side. This is Stephanie Holsbus. Freewald in the middle. Bracken sends it hard. Good dig there. Dower sends it deep. Edwards tracks it down. They have to go over on the third hit. Schaefer does that. Dower gives it behind her to her unknown 15. Edwards to Freewald. Quick set to Bracken who fires away. And that uh, is off the dig attempt by Serena Hubert. Mullen starting to fire a little bit on some cylinders here. They won game three decisively and in control here in game four, 11 to four. That serve by Metter goes into the net. That'll end the nice little run by the Mustangs. Again, this is a third place match. Silver Creek High School here in Longmont. We're on the west side. Good tournament field. Several of these teams ranked in the top 10 by Colorado Preps. Edwards from the middle, hammers it, and just a bit long. Everything set up nicely by the Mustang attack that time. The hit by Edwards just a tad off the mark. Silver Creek to serve, and again, we apologize, don't have that number. Edwards has it here as Freewald comes near side to Schaefer, gets it through the block. She powered it through Nechtel. Also, Julie Dower was there, but the point for the Mustangs gives them a six-point lead here in game four. Best of five. Schaefer back to serve. DeVere tries to tip it across. Good job by Bracken there to not allow it. Schaefer to serve again, getting directions from her head coach. And they point out where to serve. They have zones that they shoot at. The coach tells them the zone. That's not one of the zones as it sails out of bounds. Jess Herzog back in. She replaces Serena Hubert for Silver Creek. Liz Potter to serve. I'm not sure she set down the entire day. Freewald tracks down an errant pass. Schaefer will free ball it over. This is DeVere. Back to Dower. Blocked up nicely. Metter pops it up to Schaefer. Here is Edwards. She finds room across court. Tough, sharp angle, but very effective from left to right. New face into the Mullen lineup. And again, Perry... Erigit. No, that's not even close. Danny Bracken will serve. Good track down. That one's going to be in the rafters, but Davis collects it to go across. Mullen sends it deep. Both teams regroup here a little bit. Devere far side. Here's Herzog sent back. I think that was free wall. Might have been number nine, Erigit. Not sure which one got their hand on it. Maybe both, but they send it back down for the point. Bracken to serve. Then Cheyenne Mountain and Durango waiting in the championship match. Bracken fires it off target just barely, far corner. Silver Creek's down by seven. They're running out of points here. They want to stay alive in this match. They need to string some together here. Margaret Davis, their junior libero, will try to do just that as she steps back to the service line. Schaefer in the middle, gives it to Freewald. Here's Irigit, and ooh, that's out. Hope they called that in. I, I agree with the head referee up here. That looked in from up top here. The lines uh, judge went to track down the ball. Then she gave us a signal, but was overruled by the head referee. 16-8 your score in favor of Mullen. Freewald, who's done just a good job serving at start of the matches, back there here with Mullen in command. DeVere gives it up. Uh, Dower, nice job, tough angle, though it goes out of bounds. Couldn't do much with that one. Left her in a tough position. She tried to just pop it over the net, 
She was able to do that, but it landed out of bounds. Mullen eight points away. Here's Freewald. Again with the serve. Deep to Davis. Good communication there. Far side. Herzog tips. Freewald down, but I believe Mullen was in the net. Might have been Metter. Not sure which one they called it on, but it was in the net for the Mullen blockers, and Silver Creek gets the point. We'll see Dower here, Julie Dower, a junior. She'll serve. McKay, here's Freewald, near side Edwards, off the block and out of bounds. That should be a point Mullen, and it is. And sometimes that's hard to say if it goes off the net or the blocker there. It was off the blocker, and Mullen scores the point. Edwards to serve. She's had a very good match. Dower in the middle. Gives it back to Davis behind her. McKay. Now over to Freewald. Here is Edwards from deep. Sends it across. Potter. Far side. This is Herzog. Just has to send it across. McKay gives it to the set. Here's Freewald. Schaefer fires it. Potter with the nice dig. Over the top. Sarwinski. And that'll score the point for Silver Creek. Good rally there. Raptors end up with the point, but they're still down big. And again, running out of points. Mullen leads this match two games to one. They win this game. They take the match in third place. This is Serena Hubert, the sophomore. She'll send it across to Schaefer. That's Freewald back to Edwards. Kind of an off-speed pitch handled nicely there by Silver Creek. This is Davis from deep into the net. Mullen now six points away. Bracken checks back in. She'll go up front. Back to serve. Kendall McKay, the libero. Nice serve down low to get it. Potter. That is Sarwinski. That's got to be a carry, and it is. Got two hands on it to kind of float it across, and it was in her hands quite a long time, so the point goes to the Mustangs, and they've doubled up Silver Creek. Five points away from winning third. Potter receives the serve. They'll try to give it back to her. No near side here. Edwards with the nice dig. Freewald behind her. That's Metter. It goes long. Couple of substitutions in here for Silver Creek. That's Nectal, number eight, along with Holsbus, number five. And Silver Creek needs some points here, down by 11. Schaefer pops up that serve. Freewald gives it to uh, Bracken off the block of Nechtel and out. Point Mullen. Four points away. They will send Carly Metter back on the serve. See if she can serve it out. Nice low serve dug up nicely by Hubert. Miscommunication, so Potter has to send it across. Freewald collects it. Back over to Schaefer. Dower couldn't control it for the set, and it goes out of bounds. Mullen now three points away. This is surprising. We had games one and two tight all the way, each team winning respectively 25-22. Since then, it has been all Mustangs. Again, Metter with the serve. Popped up nicely there by Hubert. From the back, Davis will send it across. Back to Metter. Freewald again running this offense. Back to Metter into the net. Silver Creek hanging in there, down 10. And again, desperately needing a run of points to get back in this match. McKay. Freewald tries to tip it across. She hadn't done that in a while. It worked well in the first three games. Metter just... Pumps it across. Davis collects. Here is Dower. Nectel has to just kind of free ball it across. Free or uh, free wall. There she goes. And she hadn't done that much of that here in game four where she kind of used trickeration to score the point, but she found an open gap and found it with the ball. 23-12 Mullen. Two points away. Schaefer with the serve. Davis pops it up. Devere over to Dower. Can't get it through the block. Freewald was there. So was Bracken. Game point for the Mullen Mustangs. Also match point.
Schaefer will try to finish it off. Mustangs going for third here at the Silver Creek Tournament. Dower pops it up. Devere over to Potter, hammers it. Can Schaefer track it? She gets there, but didn't get enough of it. Potter's been quiet here this match. She had a great round of pool play, and there she hammers it home. Silver Creek, though, down by 11. They need to run 11 points in a row here to stay in this match. Potter to serve. McKay pops it up. They always find free wall. That's a job of a good team. Edwards collected by Potter. Good job on the dig. Dower brings it back across. McKay controls. Again, they find free wall. Now they go to Edwards through the block and down, and that is your match. Mullen takes game four, 25 to 13, as they win this third place match. Three games to one. So we have just one match left to bring you. That'll be the championship match tonight between Cheyenne Mountain, the four-time defending state champs, and Durango. But Mullen is your third place winner. Got that score backwards here as they win game four, 25 to 13. Let's give you the official score first there. As you can see, Mullen takes game one, 25-22. They fall in game two, but then convincingly take games three and four, 25-9 and 25-13. They finish this tournament at three and one with their lone loss to Durango, who will play for the tournament championship in a few minutes. We will take a break as we do here on Colorado Preps TV. Uh, we'll be back with you for the finals. We're guessing in about 15 minutes. It'll be Durango versus Cheyenne Mountain for the championship. But Mullen takes home third here, beating Silver Creek three games to one on Colorado Preps TV.